Hey everybody, Yulancy Peterson here, Ride with Peterson. Um, one of one of my viewers, a subscriber, he sent me a letter, a message, a comment, saying, "Hey, you are serious about getting an electric vehicle? Why do you want an electric vehicle so bad?" Well, the reason. It comes down to um, one, a few, a few reasons. The number one reason why I want an electric vehicle is because you spend a lot more money operating an electric vehicle than a gasoline-powered vehicle. Let me tell you all the stuff you don't have to worry about in an electric vehicle. You don't have to deal with oil changes. You don't have to worry about spark plugs. You don't have to worry about engine coolant. You don't have to worry about accessory drive belts going bad on you. You don't have to deal with emissions checks, emission testing. You don't have to deal with exhaust leaks. There are no, um, what is the other thing? No catalytic converters, no spark plugs, no um, pollution control uh, control valves, PCV valves. Um, you don't. You don't. You're not dealing with thermostats. You don't. You're not dealing with um, coolant. Well, you may have coolant hoses with some cars, with some EVs that use um, liquid cooling for the batteries. But the odds of those coolant hoses failing like they do on a gasoline or diesel powered vehicle is a different scenario than dealing with um, an electric car. Um, what else? You don't have to worry about your um, catalytic converter going bad or being stolen. Um, with an electric vehicle, you can sit in your vehicle with the quote unquote engine turned off, the motor turned off, and all you do is just turn the vehicle on and you can have your air conditioner on all day long, sitting in the car, nice and comfortable, not, not, not pushing any um, carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, not, um, not using up um, half your gas tank to keep cool, just when you when you're ready to um, go and you say you run low on the charge, you just recharge your car. Another thing, you are not held hostage by the constant changing, the constant changes to the price of gasoline. Some days you pay a dollar a gallon, then it goes to three dollars a gallon. Now it's five dollars a gallon, six dollars a gallon. In states where the price of gas of electricity is regulated, like California, you know exactly what your price of electricity will be every single time. It's nice and steady and simple and predictable. You have true energy independence when you operate an electric car because if you had to you could get a solar powered generator to power your to recharge your electric vehicle and it would literally cost you zero dollars to charge your electric car now mind you it will take a very long time to do it but it can be done Electric vehicles, they lead to energy independence. For example, I need a gas for my car. Gas was $6 a gallon. I had no money to go and buy gasoline. But if I had an electric car, well, right next to my car was a, was a standard 120-volt um, um, outlet. Yeah, it would have took all day all, all day and all night to charge the battery but guess what my battery would have been fully charged and if i had a chevy bolt i would have had 
200, 250 plus miles of range to get to work and do what I needed to do. Not crying that, oh my goodness, gas is $6 a gallon and I don't have $180 to fill up this gas tank. Just a thought. Plus, electric cars are so fast to drive. They're so fun to drive. They're fun, they're fast. You, you, you sit in the car, you put it in power mode, you sit there and you wait, you just, just punch the accelerator, and you out of there. No guilt. You don't you're not making any noise. You just it's the coolest thing. It really is. With a gas-powered car, you're making all that noise. You got the potential embarrassment of if a smoke comes out the back of your car. You know, what if what if you go and then all of a sudden um something happens to your fuel system and bam, your car stops. You don't have to worry about that with an EV. Um, EVs are here now. We're not even about the future anymore. An electric powered vehicle is the way it's going to be. And why is that? Because the car manufacturers, they see that they can have their cake and eat it too. You can build these cars, charge the same money if not more for an electric vehicle as you could a gasoline powered car you can make frequent model changes to a, a vehicle now because you don't have to worry about engineering a whole new engine that has to pass progressively difficult emissions um, standards that are getting more and more and more difficult to pass by the year What's going to end up happening with internal combustion vehicles, if they are not taxed out of existence, consumers will choose not to buy them anymore because the cost of gasoline will be too expensive. And then the mechanics will want to charge more money to work on them because those those vehicles will get progressively more and more expensive to work on. And then they'll simply become obsolete. Got to remember, we have a whole new generation of babies coming along. And some of those babies are going to be mechanics on cars. And many of those, those mechanics that are, that, are, that are currently coming into the world and in diapers... They're not going to know how to work on an internal combustion. They're going to look at this and what in the world is that thing? They won't know because they won't even teach people how to work on those engines anymore. So, it's like, hey, internal combustion vehicles, those are dead cars rolling. That's what they are. <laughs> those are dead vehicles rolling. You might as well get on board and, and get the cool electric vehicle right now. And I guarantee you, once you drive an electric vehicle, your attitude towards them will change. You will fall in love with them. And for once, now we don't have those, those little eggs rolling around anymore. We've got real cool electric vehicles on the road today. Vehicles that people want. Like the Hummer. Oh, see, that's the cool thing about um, an electric vehicle. You can get a big, gigantic um, SUV, or you can get a little small, um, um, a little small tadpole to run around, and you have zero guilt. You say, "Hey, I got the money to buy to buy a Hummer and roll around in in a real electric vehicle." Or get a Ford, um, um, get a Ford F one hundred and fifty Lightning. Get one of those, or get a, a Porsche um, Taycan, or um, an, an an Audi um, e tron um, GT, or um, what's what's another one? Um, you know, cool EVs, a, a Mercedes Benz EQS. Um, you know, a, a, a Tesla Model S Plaid. 
you 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 can drive these cars with zero guilt because you are not contributing negatively to the air we breathe to the environment with the petroleum um to um all the toxins that come out of an electric out of a out of a gasoline powered vehicle you're not you're not damaging the water you're not damaging the air you're not damaging your lungs with the carbon monoxide and all the various other um, hydrocarbons that come out of those vehicles when you're burning exhaust. You're not wasting oil. You're not wasting coolant. You're not wasting all the, the all the various things that have to go to make a um a, a a gasoline powered vehicle work. No more fuel pumps. No more air pumps. No more oil pumps. No more um. No more air filters, no more fuel filters, um, no more fuel tanks, no more spilling gas at the gas station when you fill it up and you top it off. My goodness, the, the list continues with all the benefits of owning an electric car. I can't wait to finally get one. I love this Mercedes. I would love to convert this car to an EV, take the, take the gasoline engine out, take the gas tank out, take the fuel lines out, take all the stuff out of it that makes it a gas powered vehicle and put an electric vehicle up, an electric motor up front, put a, um, put a, a, a 60, 80 or 100 kilowatt battery where the fuel tank is, stick a um, charging port with the, with the, with the fuel filler normally is, um, put in, replace the center console with with a with a nice big screen for um, the electronic um, controls. Everything else will work the same way or about the same way. I mean, this 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 car is a is an awesome platform to retrofit to electric. But yeah, I'm excited for the future of automobiles. So. Um, but the biggest benefit, being able to sit in the car with the air conditioning on and not using a drop of gas to do it. I'd say that's the main reason right there for me. I love it. And then when you're done, and then if you go to sleep, the engine, the, the, the battery is on, but the car won't go anywhere because the car is set up to just simply stay put. You don't have it in drive. You can lock the car down. It's the greatest thing. All right, everybody. Next video, I'll catch you. Take care.